my perspective, it was uh, it was a really bad driving job because if you looked at it, it looked like a slinky going down through there. And for you younger folks, a slinky was a toy for when I was a kid. It kind of went all over the place. So uh, Grubby, Grubby lined me up really close to the inside. I did not do a good job moving the car over to the center, so that 75.8 might have been a 74. But anyway it goes, I am uh, extremely happy to be sitting here talking to you guys. And yeah, it was really good. I mean, the conditions are g- good. They're not great by any means, but uh, there's uh, not a lot of humidity in the air out here this weekend, and it's, even though it's warm, you can, you can overcome a lot of that. There's uh, not a lot of moisture in the air, so the track's getting better and better. I know uh, when we were here in the, uh, the spring, the, the surface was, was fresh, and there wasn't a lot of rubber on the top end. And, uh, the first session went down through there without spanning the tires, and it, it actually did come loose on that run down there right before the finish line, maybe uh, 700, 800 feet, maybe it came loose a little bit, but some cylinders out, so the track's getting better. And joined by Pro Stock Qualifying Leader Greg Anderson, who ran a 6.524 second pass at 212.26 miles an hour. He's going for his third number one qualifier of the season, and your first at Z-Max. That's surprising. That's a, that's a shocker. I thought I've always been fast in this racetrack, but apparently not quite fast enough. He's not called on it. Had great, great times at this place, a lot of great race days, and uh, you know it's setting up to be another one. It's it's uh, it's quite a dogfight out there. Obviously, the uh, elite team with Eric Anders and Bruce Cohen are very, very fast. For your first number one qualifier of the season, you have two wins this year, including the U.S. Nationals. You're picking up momentum just at the right time. Sure, I think it's a great deal. Um, you know, last year we missed about one point. Everybody knows, and uh, a lot of the uh, other riders were saying, "Thanks," <laughs> but we actually started peaking at the right time. This year, we, uh, we found it a little early. We struggled with fuel in the beginning. Uh, you know, I do. I try to do the same thing every time. Repetitions, but the, the credit goes to the crew, Tim and Jeremy and, and Steve.